my name is Pamela. This is the Sweater Weather Podcast, and this is Vlogmas Day 2. Um, we're going to get started right away with Advent Calendars. And I'm going to start with the David's Tea Calendar. Here's Day 2. And for Day 2, we have... Sweet potato pie. Yum. That sounds delicious. Can't wait to try that. Isn't that pretty? I, uh, for Christmas, I love the red, turquoise, white, and with a dash of pink in it for a um, color scheme. I've done that color scheme for Christmas before, and I really, I really like it. Now this time I'm not going to forget my William Morris Gallery Advent cal Calendar. <laughs> I can't get that out but I can tell you what it is. So I can't get that out, but I can tell you what it is. It's a tiny bath bomb. So I will have to use that in the bath. This calendar smells amazing. Moving on to the body shop advent calendar. I should have looked to see where day two was. So this is the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. Mm. It's got a, it's very, very, very lightly scented. So nice. It's kind of a big box. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to leave that out and put the box away. This is so nice. And but not least, my pineapple yarn advent calendar, pineapple coast. Ooh. Okay. This has got a similar vibe to the one I opened yesterday, but it feels like it's more intense, that the pinks are more intense. There's more purple. Turn it this way too. Very similar though. So I'm not sure if it's a fade. So I'm gonna pick up what I've been working on just so you can see. Very similar, but maybe just a tad more intense. Okay, wonderful. Can't wait to get started on that. Okay, so very quickly, I'm just gonna show you um, what I worked on yesterday. So 
So in case anybody out there is unaware, there is a new series on Prime and it's called Three Pines and it's based off the Louise Penny Inspector Gamache series. And I know that they tried to um, make a movie or a series out of it before and it, it didn't do well. They only had one episode or, uh, you know, covered the one book and it, it just, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't very good. I did watch it and I, I didn't enjoy it. I mean, the, the, um, TV or movies never going to be as good as the book or very rarely is as good as the book, but, um, that one just wasn't good. I found the one that I watched last night was very good. I liked it a lot. Um, they, they released two episodes. Um, so my plan is to finish with um, mini skein number one and then add in mini skein number two and watch the second episode of that Three Pines series. So if anybody is a fan of Louise Penny, um, highly recommend you tune into that. Okay, I need to stop playing with it and just talk about it for a second. The pattern that I finally decided on is the mini skein sampler by Crystal Bergstrom. Um, it's a free scarf pattern that you can download from Ravelry. Um, so as you can see, I, I did get a good start on it. However, you can see that it's wider than a scarf normally would be. And that is because I cast on a lot more stitches than the original pattern called for because I wanted it to be more of a wrap. So what I ended up doing was I, um, I was doing long tail cast on, so I took a certain amount of yarn and then um, I did my cast on and I, I said, as long as I get double what the original pattern had, then I'll be happy. And I ended up uh, casting on quite a bit more than double uh, the original pattern. So um, it looks like each stripe is going to be an inch and a half or to two inches approximately. And um, I will have to decide when I'm finished if that's going to be uh, long enough for a wrap. So if you multiply, multiply that by 24, possibly 25 if I add in some of the uh, full skein that we received, um, I'll have to decide if that's going to be long enough or not. But I, I, can, I can cross that bridge when I come to it. And if it isn't long enough, um, if it doesn't have a big enough wingspan, then I will just find other uh, yarn and mini skeins to add in. It's not like I have a shortage of mini skeins. So anyways, that's where I am. Um, I am not going to be filming a ton today. Um, I have a dinner with my sister um, at her restaurant tonight. So my sister and brother-in-law own an amazing restaurant in uh, Little Italy in Ottawa. It's called La Dolce Vita, if you ever have the chance to go there. And they are certified gluten-free. Um, that's, I don't need gluten-free food, but um, many people have um, sensitivities or are celiac, um, have celiac disease and, and have to be gluten-free. So uh, they do have a lot of people that come to the restaurant um, that require the gluten-free. So anyways, I will be doing that tonight and um, then watching my show, okay? This is the advent calendar that I created for my sister. I am going to be giving it to her tonight at dinner. My sister loves doing puzzles, so I thought it would be fun to put together a puzzle advent calendar. I purchased a 1000 piece Christmas themed puzzle and then put it together so that I could break down the puzzle into chunks of 40 pieces that all went together. And then I put all these pieces together in little bags and added treats to make it fun to open each day. I hope she likes it. 